Hello, I'm ZZ, and in this video I present to you the Baryon Sweeper for the PSP 3000 and technically for the PSP 2000 with the T888 version 3 motherboard, also known as the Unhackable 2000. As you can see, this is a PSP 3000 currently running version 6.61 LME 2.3 permanent via Infinity. As you can see on the buttons at the bottom, this is indeed a 3000, and uh, it is currently does currently not have a battery inside, so if I unplug the charger, it turns off. Now, we're going to use uh, this special kind of battery. As you can see, a cable comes out of it. We put this into the PSP, and the cable is connected to the computer, which is running the Baryon Sweeper software. Thanks to the Baryon Sweeper software and the specific uh, hardware inside of this battery, we can force this PSP 3000 to enter the service mode, which allows us to refresh its entire firmware, which means if it's bricked, you can unbrick it. As you can see, now it's running the OS Copy version 2. And this is effectively an official software from Sony, which uh, is used at Sony's to unbrick PlayStation Portables. This uh, might take a while, but it is going to check the flash of the PSP 3000 and then it's going to wipe the flash and fully restore to PSP firmware 6.20. As I mentioned before, I'm currently displaying this on this uh, PSP 3000. This does of course also work with the PlayStation Portable 2000 version 3. So the PSP 2000 which has a T888 version three motherboard, which can't use the old Pandora, but it can use this new version. Keep in mind, it only works on the PSP 3000 if it has a motherboard version 90 version 2, 90 version 3, or 92. Or effectively, if it's a third generation PSP 3000, Baryon Sweeper will work with it. There are also a 4th generation PSP 3000, a 7th and a 9th generation PSP 3000 as well. From the outside, they all look the same. You can distinguish them by either installing custom firmware and using PSP ident to check your motherboard and your generation. Or if your PlayStation Portable is not Japanese, then in the battery compartment, there should be a small sticker that says date code. And if the date code is 9C or below, your PSP 3000 should be a third generation PSP 3000. If it's 9C or higher, then your PSP is likely a fourth generation PSP 3000 or even an, uh, an even newer one, like a seventh or ninth generation. And Baryon Sweeper currently does not work with a fourth, seventh, or ninth generation PSP 3000. If you happen to have a PSP Go, or a PSP E1000, then keep in mind you can't remove the batteries on those devices without taking the device apart, and Baryon Sweeper is not compatible with the PSP E1000 at the moment. In theory, it is compatible with the PSP Go, but currently there is some issue with restoration software being missing for the PSP Go, so that does not work. Also, you would have to take apart the PSP Go to get access to the PS, uh, to the battery, which you do not have to do for PSP 3000, 2000, and 1000. Also, um, this does work with the old fat PSP and with the hackable 2000 as well, but uh, that's a bit redundant because you can just use the, uh, the normal Pandora on those. And as you can see, the flash successfully, uh, the, the software successfully flashed the version 6.20, and if we now restart the PSP, we will be able to see that it's indeed running version 6.0. I have to unplug the power for a second, then replug it, and then we turn it on. And you should be able to see that it's now indeed running version 6.20. Okay, it wiped the settings as well, that's not an issue. And there we go, now it is running version 
And if this PSP 3000 would have been bricked, as in like it does not turn on, or you, it shows the power LED but only has a black screen, effectively the operating system is uh, broken, you can use the Baryon Sweeper to fix this issue. This works like a fully fledged Pandora battery just for the PSP 3000 as well, not just for the old ones. I hope you enjoyed this uh, small presentation and as always, see you soon.